Hello everyone, welcome to the study hacks. Today I will try to discuss about the DM data or digital elevation data. So recently we can access this one meter digital elevation models USGS national map download data and we can easily access this data in Google Earth Engine platform so here you can see this is the data this is the data for provider is that uh, usgs and also you can see this data set availability date okay and this is the provider is that united state geological survey and this is the art engine snippet so mainly this data holding server as the elevation layer of the national map and provide the national elevation information of art science studies and mapping application in the United States. Scientists or resource managers use this data for hydrologic modeling, then resource monitoring, then mapping and visualization. Now, this data is only for the one meter dam surface are seamless within the collection project but not necessarily seamless across the project okay we can easily access this data set and before we can use here this data set only for the 10 meter data set okay so this data set is only used for the united states this national map okay so recently uh, we can also access this one meter resolution data set it's also only for the united states okay so you can see here this is the data set here i already opened this code in here so this is the data set in this data set this resolution is the only for the one meter so here you can see this, this is the data set we can easily access this data set i simply click on the console tab and click on the any portion or uh, inspector tab and click on the any portion of the map you can see i can get the elevation result about this you can see this point elevation is that when i click here i can get the elevation like this okay so now this data set is available only for the united states uh, for different types of hydrological model development and other tasks and also you can see this is the another data set so mainly this data set is the 10 meter data set elevation data set uh, we can easily use this data set for making the hill shade map then salt map then a spec map and we also do for the lot of hydrological modeling using this same data so in this time here you can see here i add here the some uh tax you can see this is the elevation data okay so this is our dam data for the united states and this resolution is the only for the 10 meter and now they are also uh, increasing this resolution and then move created the one meter resolution this data set and this data set is also available in this time in uh, google Earth engine data set you can see this is the data set uh, available in here so mainly this data set is only used for united states and this is the national map and provide the fundamental foundational elevation information of the art science studies and mapping application in the united states okay and this is the same way for the 10 meter resolution uh dam data and it's also provide the united states um, data set okay so here you can see uh i using this data set i simply talk some do you can see here i created the hill shape map and salt map you can see this is the salt map of the united uh, states this dam data i use for making the salt map also you can see this is the hill shade map so mainly we can easily identify the hill shade area using the dam data so i simply try to show you that part you can see uh you can easily identify this is the hill shade we can get the 3d hill shade model okay so see this is the hill region we can easily identify in here defy in here You can see this is the hilly region we can easily identify the hill shed area map okay and now uh, this is the another data set is available for the whole world 
for global data set uh, mainly this data set is provided the nasa so you can see so i simply search at this data set this data set name is that nasa srtm so this is that another uh, digital elevation data set and this data set is the globally we can easily access the global elevation or dem data using this uh, data set and uh, you can see this data set uh, resolution is the 30 meter resolution and we can uh, easily access for all over the world using for the elevation or dm data using this data set and uh, created for the uh, different types of hydrological modeling model as well as also created the hill shape map salt map or other mapping application we can easily develop for the whole world using this data set is this data set is the provider the nasa USGS. So this data set name is that NASA SRTM does the digital elevation 30 meter resolution. Mainly this data set is the globally. We can easily access this data for the global and we can easily uh, do for the different types of hydrological modeling as well as also do for the different types of uh, hill shape map, salt map for all, all over the world. Okay. So this is the DEM data. And recently, uh, this uh, data set you can see this is the 10 meter resolution data set. Also, you can see this is the 1 meter resolution data set only for the national map of uh, United States. And they are using this DEM data for their different types of hydrological work as well as also they are using for the DEM data for different types of hill shape map, salt map, or other uh, different types of work they can easily using only for the 1 meter resolution. This data set, okay okay so if you have any question or any doubt about this data set you can uh, comment in this uh, video this uh, video comment box i also try to discuss uh, about this later okay and in this time i also put you another announcement is that our online training program so our online training program is uh, this registration is the open now okay so here you can see this is our online training uh, program uh, conducted by the uh, state Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Okay, so mainly this online training will be taken for three days. So this training will be start from the 5th July. And uh, in this online training course, I only focus for the beginners who don't have any programming language or who don't have any Google Earth Engine platform. I focus only for this person who don't have totally zero knowledge about the programming okay so in this online training session I will try to discuss all of the programming language which you need to learn the Google Earth Engine platform and uh, this course I offer only for the beginners who don't have anything about the programming language then uh, Google Earth Engine platform zero knowledge okay so in this course you can also get the course certificate after completing the three days online training session you can also get the course material different types of pdf or slide you can also get you can also get the practice code for your uh, practice session you can also get the practice code you can also get the recorded video classes you can also get the lifetime teaching support from me okay so mainly this is our online training session for the beginners who don't have the any knowledge on uh, google earth engine platform or programming language and uh, in this course i will try to discuss all of the beginners also uh, as the beginners if you want to learn the google earth engine platform for remote sensing analysis you can just contact with me this whatsapp number as well as you can also contact with me this email okay and uh, in this time uh, for the register first five people get a 50 percent discount so if you want to need this 50% discount as soon as possible, you can just contact with this number and email and book your seat. Okay. So this is our online training for a beginners who don't have anything about the Google Earth Engine platform and programming language. And we have also offered the another training is that for the land, land use and land cover classification with change detection time series analysis using the machine learning method. So mainly in this course here you can see. This is the uh, this course will uh, online training will be taken for the uh, four or four uh, August. So you can easily register for this course if you want to learn the land use and land cover classification with sense detection, time series analysis using the machine learning platform. So mainly in this course, I will try to discuss all of the land cover classification, how you can easily make the land cover classification map, 
with change detection how can easily use the different types of uh, machine learning methods supervised and supervised how we can easily use the different types of uh, classifier random forest cl then classification and regression trees then minimum distance and how we can easily calculate the area and finally how we can easily make the accuracy assessment of land use uh, mapping and change detection okay so and finally how we can easily do this so if you are interested to learn about the land use and land cover classification with change detection then you can, you can easily uh, join this online training program and learn all of the things from the beginners level okay so today is no more so thank you for watching this Thank you.